here we have Nazira. 121k subscribers and who knows how many, how many comments and supportive people. And he has got a lot of cool shit too. And do you know what the best part of not having a fucking clue what the hell has been going on this whole time? Is the fact that I had to drive myself to the mental hospital after the inauguration of Biden because I was overwhelmed. Greetings, everybody. Peace the and love. reality that there were fucking angels under attack everywhere. And it was so mentally crippling and difficult for me to get through. And then, you know, I'm just bopping around and then boo, boo, boo. All of a sudden, during Rosh Hashanah, I go through what the fuck I had to go through. And then not even know that any of this kind of content was out there until after. I know. Fucking clue any of this shit. Love is Nazi Rock. Today we're gonna talk about the seven signs of angelic genes, the seven signs and seven uh, keys to let you know that you have angelic genes. And then we're gonna go into some more advanced information and more details about uh, the different natures of these particular uh, angelic beings. We're gonna go into extraterrestrials. We're gonna go into um, the, and the archangels. And that'll be more for the members area. But this particular video, we're going to uh, focus on seven signs of uh, having angelic genes. Someone may ask, well, Nazir, how can someone have angelic genes? Angels are not even people. Angels don't have genes. Well, it says the sons of God came down in unto the daughters of men in your Bible. That means, and it says that they brought children unto them, which were men of renown. Okay. Men of great stature. So therefore, angels do have genes, and angels are people, and they reproduce on the earth. It says that the fallen angels came down to the earth as well, all right? So angels are extraterrestrials. Angels are human beings from other star systems that come and intermingle with humans, and humans themselves are extraterrestrials. Some of us have a lot of these genes. Some of us are... Uh, have a leaning towards because of our genetics towards the extraterrestrial and the divine side side and some of us are more earthly and more basic uh, uh, basic Lulu Amalu which is a primitive worker which were beings that were designed where it says let us create man in our image and after our likeness for what purpose to be a slave to work on the plantation known as the Garden of Eden okay to be a caretaker of the land okay so that all oh, it's a lot of information to this. You might want to go back and, and watch some previous videos and actually join because uh, we take them down and we have an archive inside the members area. But let's just go into this these signs of this particular um, being an angel, having angelic genes. Our genes control uh, our nature. They control our uh, phenotype, which is how we look. And they control, uh, you know, how we how we respond, and they also have a big part in why we go through things the way we do here on this planet. Now, the first sign of being an extraterrestrial or angel or having extraterrestrial genes or angelic genes is bad. I don't think he brings this up, but Solar Lion has brought up, and a lot of other people, Solar Lion one four four. And a lot of other people talk about RH negative blood. That shit is not fucking normal. That is extraterrestrial immediately. It's Inky's bloodline. And that might seem cool at first. And then the possibility of that when you realize later on maybe that uh, Inky is not good. Um, then it'll probably overwhelm you and you'll probably think you're a piece of shit. <sighs> It's fine. It's fucking fine. Everything's fine, guys. Bad luck. Oftentimes, you have bad luck because you are constantly under attack. You may not know who you are. 
But the enemy knows you and they see you and you stand out like a sore thumb. You stand out like a candle in the midst of darkness. So they are attracted to you to extinguish that light. Because if that light is to spread, it'll raise the frequency of this planet and they will not, they will not be able to feed. Okay, parasites won't be able to feed because they can only feed off of lower chakra energy. You see? And we go into that in the Kundalini home study course in that boot camp about the, that whole thing. Uh, the second one is uh, you feel out of place. You don't feel like you belong here. You feel like an alien. You feel like there's something really wrong with this world and you feel like I'm at the I'm in the wrong spot. Do you ever get off at the wrong train stop? You ever, <laughs> you know, take the wrong place and things <laughs> look strange and people are a little peculiar? Well, that's how people feel when they are the children of the angelic beings. You feel out of place, okay? So if you constantly feel out of place, like there's something wrong with this world, it's a strong chance that you have angelic genes. Number three, uh, the system of controls and the, uh, the, the societal matrix, the programmings that we go through, it really, impacts you harder and you become more or less like a, rebe a rebel. You rebel against a lot of the social programs. Because a lot of social programs, not all of them are necessarily bad, you see, but they come to a place where it's, it stagnates you when it goes beyond just basic hygiene and respect for your elders, all of that social program as well, correct? But when it goes to the extent of, you know, having you thinking inside this box, where this is where religion comes in, you buck that. You're a rebel to religion. If you're a rebel to religion, you most likely are an angelic being. Absolutely. I was literally never a rebel to religion. I was a fucking normal Christian living my life trying to just be okay. And had no fucking clue anything and this fucking not only broke my heart it has been absolutely fucking humiliating i would rather i would rather shit my pants while putting beer away at work in front of a crowded bar on a fucking full moon friday i would rather do that than do any of the fucking shit that I have been doing for the last 10 months. But we're in a fucking video game world, so I don't give a fuck. Absolutely. It doesn't make sense to you. You're attracted to the, the spirituality of it, but the indoctrination is repulsive. It's like, if that does not make sense to me, there's gotta be something more, preacher. There's gotta be something more to that story. That's your angelic genes. So that's number three. Number four, you're interested in the stars. You find yourself stargazing. You find yourself wanting to buy a telescope. When I was a child, I was infatuated with space travel. I had pictures of the space mm -hmm. shuttle. Yeah. I used to write to the, to the astronauts. You know, I wanted to be an astronaut, you see? I had, uh, you know, a telescope, so many telescopes. You see, you know, trying to find out what's out there. Always infatuated with the stars. You know, laying out on the grass back on Long Island, laying out on the grass and just looking at the stars. Even upstate New York, when we used to go to the to the Mount Mount Zion and so forth, we used to see ships all the time. We would just look at the ships and things of that nature. So you're infatuated with the stars. Some of it it plays out in the distraction of astrology and that particular thing. Uh, so that's still an outgrowth of your infatuation with the stars and also UFOs. Many of you who want to come to this boot camp, cosmic ascension and cosmic genetic pathways, that that sends off red flags. That's like, wow, what is that? What is that? I'm interested in that. Other people are like, what are you talking about? Are you crazy? Are you, you know, <laughs> he's weird or she's strange. They're kind of peculiar. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Because they're not from this world. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Next is number five is spontaneous knowing. You get into conversations sometimes and you just start really divulging information that's like, wow, profound information. My children do it all the time. My, I have children, my, my sons will just say something 
my wife will be cooking and they'll just say something that's like did you just hear that that was profound they just spontaneously know the doorbell rings they already know who's at the door you see information just comes through them especially when you're in a cipher what we call a cipher when there's a, a group of people that's all on a certain frequency and you start to build what you call build build on information now you open up portals in your mind and you get downloads of information this is what happens at the events it takes a, a cipher and a building session to a whole different level because we're going to have dozens of people there and the information that comes down it doesn't just come down through nazir Ra. the most high chooses whom he chooses to dispense information it could come through anybody it's not he it could come this is why it's so powerful so spontaneous knowing that's intuition that deals with the faculty of the spirit known as Tehuti. Tehuti is Thoth, where you get the word thought, and the comedic word, which is Tehuti, is where you get intuition. You just know. Number six, you're attracted to spirituality. You're attracted to the occult. You're attracted to metaphysics and things dealing with consciousness and the mind. Okay, a lot of ways, this is a lot of psychology. It's because the universe is all mental. This is all in the mind. Mm -hmm. If you want to get deep, it's all in the mind. You see? Creation happens because you exist. If you didn't exist, nothing exists. The end of the world happens when you die. Forget all the other stuff. When you die, the world is over because we all live in our own universe. See? That's what we deal with. Get the book, The Hidden Self. We break that down. That's we all live in our own little universe. And when we die here, we wake up and try to get the fuck out of this one. This is so crazy. That's more or less like the blueprint of metaphysics. Okay, that's going a little ahead of ourselves, but you're attracted to those things. That's deep to you, you're interested in that. The football game, you know, uh, the Beyonce video, all of that stuff is whatever, but you are interested in spirituality. That's because you're of the angelic line, the bloodline, okay? And finally, number seven, you're often lonely. You're often lonely and misunderstood. It's like nobody really understands me. I'm like an outcast and people consider me weird. Uh, we get a lot of videos from people who want to come to the boot camp for free. It's a contest, by the way. And we hear it all the time. You know, I finally realized that I'm not crazy. People try to make you feel like you're crazy or you feel like you're crazy for seeing things the way other people cannot see it. You can all be sitting there listening to the same, you know, sermon. And you, you have a question that's just profound. No one can even grasp the fact of even having that question. See? Or that insight. That's your angelic genes. And it becomes a level of sadness because it's lonely. Being on this frequency can be lonely when you don't have anybody to share this information with. You don't have anybody really to, to uh, commune with and to uh, what you call fellowship with, like they say in the church, on a higher level. So it's lonely and it can be sad, saddening and it can lead to depression. This is why I say get around the company of... I wonder what people who have been diagnosed bipolar, people like NF diagnosed OCD, and he's a fucking angel of a different, of a different type. And um, yeah, you, uh, you can totally see things differently whenever you uh, activate that junk DNA that you don't realize you even have or realize it was disabled by extraterrestrials or realize that you can turn it back on. All kinds of shit. I think I've learned a lot of shit in the past 10 months. And I wonder how the mental health patients out there feel I hope mental patients hear this video because I think that you're a bunch of fucking angels and mostly millennials. And I think the whole world looks like a fight of angels, good ones versus angels, bad ones, in bodies, pretty much right now. And, um, yeah, mental health patients, um, 
if anybody's ever heard a male type thought stream or voice in their head I've seen that hitting a lot of women I've seen that hitting a lot of people and it is like major schizophrenia and bipolar type issue diagnosis is whenever you say that you are hearing or feeling like you are hearing the voice of God or you are hearing a male voice and it looks like you know it's not even a big fucking deal but it looks like a lot of probably women and a lot of people here are normal people but their souls are fallen angelics they are male soul lines male consciousness I think that explains a lot of things. I think that explains all these he bitches out here who fucking hate men, who can't balance their anything right now. All these people who can't balance one consciousness, let alone if you have something called a braided soul contract, where you agreed to help a fallen soldier before you were fucking born. And now your main problem and only problem is not understanding that all of this shit could possibly be true. And once you know that, everything gets a lot better. Of the righteous. All the scriptures talk about it, the Quran, the Bible, the children of Israel, they all lived amongst each other. Okay, this is where you get your protection. This is where you get your uh, your ascension as well because when you come together with like-minded people, everybody's frequency rises. It becomes exponential. Iron sharpens iron. So that is very, very profound within itself. So we uh, thank everybody for tuning in. Um, and coming on out to the event, all of the, all of the people that are coming out were pretty much full, like 99% full, maybe 95. Uh... Well, well, well. This is a fun game we're playing here, guys. This is fun. Not knowing what the shoe, that Schumann resonance was until like a week and a half ago. Like, that's important information. Does everybody know that the Schumann resonance went off the fucking charts about two or three weeks ago? The day after my concert, my last concert, that fucking Schumann resonance went wild. And like, now seeing that I've just been running around here looking like a fucking qanon -y person on accident. <laughs> because what? It's star seeds, like star seeds have the same fucking stories and reactions, it seems like. And uh, a lot of people have to be scared of copyright infringement and scared of being embarrassed and banished in their families. I don't give a shit. I came into this game playing bartender server because I don't got shit to fucking lose financially or or at all just you know straight up focus on what can we do to make this world safer for our children who we are older than in this game but but our babies and our children right now have older souls than we do probably and if we don't figure this shit out and talk about this can you imagine putting this shit on your kids? Because I can't.